Okay, uh, this is the uh, blower motor out of my furnace. Uh, I replaced it because the old it was shaking like nobody's business. It was either that or the fan was shaking. Here's the, uh, once again, framing is going to be an issue. Here's the squirrel cage fan. Uh, it's just punched sheet metal, nice and sharp. You can see it was a little rusted here, so it's possible that that's what was out of balance. I, I just went ahead and replaced both. Um, it's kind of expensive, actually, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. Also, you know, you can see it kind of pitting on the inside there. I guess that would be part of the rusting that I just mentioned. But anyway, yeah, the rust forming in there, so, you know, who knows? Uh, this could have been out of balance, or the motor itself, more likely the bearings, were uh, on their way out. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, take this apart and have a look at the inside. Maybe we'll be able to see what's going on with the bearings. I don't know. Probably not, but it's worth a try, right? Sorry for the chirping in the background. I've got a cricket uh, that has taken up residence in the garage. I'm not really sure where he is. Can't find him. But uh, he likes to keep me company, so I guess that's something, right? Apparently, those are metric. Are they metric? They're not metric. Hmm, weird. They're like some... All right, very long, thin fasteners through the body of this. Uh, this one had a ground. Um, that's going to be a um, earth uh, ground. So it's going to be like a safety ground. So if anything ever were to short out in this, it could ground out to the metal case and then uh, ground out, trip the breaker, you know, or pop the fuse, either one. Uh, trip the breaker. It would trip the breaker. It wouldn't pop the fuse before I get uh, yelled at in the comments here by all two of my fans. Um... So, I'm get a bigger screwdriver. All right, that'll work. What if we go the other way? Ugh. There we go. Now we're making some progress. All right, so here is the commutator which I just uh, bumped up through the bearing. Make sure the bearing like that. Wow, there's a lot going on in here. So you can see there are a crap ton of windings in here. And the reason that there's a crap ton of windings is because this is a multiple speed motor so these leads on the end are going so you're gonna have uh two leads here which i believe these go to the capacitor and the uh, capacitor offsets a phase um, of this thing um, and then you're gonna have let's say just a normal hot coming in or well i'm not 100 percent sure i think this is the neutral coming out because it's a 120 volt fan and then these three leads uh depending on which one you use is going to give you a different set of um windings which will change the speed so you can see there's about a gazillion sets of windings in here each one of these little bars is a separate lamination in the thing so just depending on which combinations of winding you get will set the speed and some furnaces uh you'll actually use different speeds for different settings. So you might have, let's say, you know, air conditioning and gas heat. Uh, you might use, say, I don't remember which is which, but you might use, say, high for the, uh, the air conditioning, but you might use a lower setting for the gas heat because you've got more capacity in the gas furnace, so you want to blow air over that slower or whatever, or less capacity or whatever, right? So that's really all that's going on with this. It's just a big big set of copper windings here we have 
the bearing. Let me see if I can pop that out of there. Well, I can't get it to pop. I can't get it to pop apart here, but it actually appears to be just a bushing um, in the back, and there is this oil-soaked um, material. I don't know if it's cotton or what. Yeah, it's like cotton. Feels kind of like a cotton ball, actually, uh, to lubricate this bushing. So it'll heat up. This will kind of release the uh, the oil in there. And then, you know, as the oil gets more viscous, and then it'll kind of soak it back up, kind of acting like the, uh, the soap part of a grease. And then in here, well, I'm having trouble getting it all the way out of there, but it looks like the same setup. Uh, you can see we got this thrust washer here, or well, a washer there to kind of contain everything. And man, just does not want to come out. Yeah, and you can see a seal up in the front here, an oil seal. Which we don't see in this one because we've got just a cap, obviously. Ooh, man, that thing is crusty, too. It just broke as soon as I touched it. Yeah, you can see it's, like, disintegrating. So that's obviously been just cooked out of there. And yeah, it looks like we just got uh, another probably cast iron bushing would be my guess uh, inside of both of these with the same thing. Just kind of a little, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little port in there to allow down in there to allow the oil. So you can see that cotton's in there or felt, whatever it is, to allow the oil to uh, soak out to uh, lubricate those uh, bushings. So just plain bearings in this thing, uh, which is... Uh, pretty interesting I mean let's see if it says the rpm here on the side oh okay so here's um what I was talking about before so here's the little wiring diagram we've got brown to brown which is the capacitor we've got black which is high uh blue blue slash or I don't know what that means which is medium and red is low, so those would be your, your three lines. And then I guess your cap, or your uh, black, would be your um, your ground, I guess, or your return line. Uh, 1,100 RPM, so not spinning super fast, half a horsepower. Yeah, plain bushings. Um, you know, very robust. Uh, they don't, uh, they last a long time. So, I mean, Jesus Motors probably been in here wonder if there's a date. Yeah, I don't see a date stamped anywhere. The only thing that maybe is that is this guy, 1609, but that doesn't really make sense, does it, as a date? But uh, I think this thing has been in there for quite a long time. Um, so, you know, uh, just went out of balance or the fan went out of the balance, one or the other. And it's kind of one of those, you know, while it's apart, no sense in, uh, in not replacing it. Um, but, uh, you know, this thing runs, you know, anytime the furnace is on and then some, right. Anytime you turn on that recirculation fan. So this gets a lot of hours on it, but, uh, anyway, hopefully, uh, someone found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.